everything about me, what I've seen. We all need to run. Hope is not lost today. We must face them. Fight them. Sure you're up for this? Hell no. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Well, hello, Han Solo. Aren't you the Han Solo? <laughs> <laughs> ah, who's your favorite character? I have to go with Padme. Who's okay. your favorite character? Hi, Harrison. Hi. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. Happy Thursday. There's new Star Wars footage, so let's break it down. We get to see Finn with his lightsaber, we get to see more Han Solo, and we actually get to see Han Solo in real life surprising the shit out of people. There's been this new trend the last couple of years where big Hollywood movies try to do the reaction video thing where they get like big stars to surprise the crap out of normal people. Star Wars has just been using Harrison Ford in their latest installment. But the big thing about this new clip is that it's all about Finn. We learned that he is a flame trooper, or at least he starts out as one. It looks like he completely torches that village, killing a whole bunch of people, Anakin Skywalker style. Only instead of like Anakin going to the dark side, he has this complete crisis of conscience. So he just says, smell you later to the Empire, and that's when he bails. Him with Han Solo, and then him with the lightsaber looked like it come much later in the film. There were some earlier clips where he had some dialogue where he's like, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Like, he's searching for a purpose. He just doesn't have an identity yet, so he gets swept up in this big adventure and finds himself. This looks like it's on the Starkiller base, which, as a lot of people are guessing, is probably inside this ice planet. It would be awesome if this trench opened up and revealed the giant laser. It would make it a lot more defensible than the Death Star. Anytime I think about Death Star logic, I just go back to that Family Guy clip. It's just so hilarious. Can't we put a piece of plywood over that hole or something? But I just love how old and worn in all the hero stuff is looking. Han Solo is like the biggest character in most of these clips. And it looks like he hasn't bought himself a new pair of clothes in like 30 years. The blaster that he's holding looks a little bit different from the one he used in the original trilogy. But it does look reminiscent of that. That's one of the most fun things about going to watch the original trilogy. Is that everything looks like so lived and worn in. Like yeah, it's the future. They have amazing technology. But it looks so dirty. Like nobody has ever cleaned it. It gives you this really grand visual sense of history that you don't get from, say, like, the Star Trek films, where it looks like the bridge of the Enterprise is an Apple store. But a lot of you have also been asking about this Stormtrooper here. This is what they're calling the right control Stormtrooper, and it looks like he has a stun baton there. I don't think that's a vibroblade or anything like that. The only reason I think that it's able to block the lightsaber strike is because it's charged with energy. But the ruins they're fighting in look like Maz Kanata's temple. It looks like the Empire destroys that. She might end up eating it during this movie. Maybe she gets away. Her temple looks like it gets destroyed. They do use the word hope quite a bit. And, and there's just like so many visual things like costumes as well as lines of dialogue that they've taken from the original trilogy and given to different characters in this new trilogy. So because we are getting so close to the movie coming out, what I'd recommend you do is you watch the original trilogy. I mean, you can watch the prequels too, but at least watch the original trilogy within like a week of going to see episode seven, just so all that is fresh in your mind. So you'll probably recognize a whole bunch of familiar stuff during episode seven. They kind of did that with the latest Bond film with Spectre. They're just like a lot of the older Bond films inside that film. So exact same thing can happen with Star Wars. There's going to be crazy Easter eggs. It's going to be so much fun. That's really the reason you watch a film like 10 times. Like you watch it the first time just for the fun of it, just because it's such a spectacle. Then you rewatch it for all the fun Easter eggs. What I think they're going to end up doing is, is just because we're so close to the movie and they, they were calling this a Finn teaser, they'll do this for the other new characters. So we might get like a Ray teaser. We might get a Poe Dameron teaser. We haven't seen a whole lot of him yet. Oscar Isaac was telling funny stories about Harrison Ford on the set. He said, he said because Poe Dameron's character is a big pilot, Harrison Ford is a big pilot in real life. He's like, do you have any advice for me? You know, for, for any like badass piloting tips. And Harrison Ford just deadpan looked at him and was like, nope, not, nope, not really, no. No one will ever be more casual than Harrison Ford is. I know a lot of people are wondering what's going to happen to Han Solo in this new trilogy. I do think at some point he will end up dying and the Millennium Falcon will be his legacy. Like he'll pass it on to the new characters. Just in terms of visual imagery, the Millennium Falcon is always going to be an identifier for Star Wars. Like if you don't understand what the story is for Star Wars, you know the Millennium Falcon. Like you recognize it. So old characters die off, new characters come in. You know, in 20 years, there'll probably still be a Millennium Falcon flying around the galaxy. I don't even want to think about how many Star Wars films are going to be in 20 years. There's at least three spin-offs that we know about and three main films. So that's six in the next like eight to nine years. 
What's gonna happen next is I have a whole bunch of footage for the Flash Arrow crossover, so I'm gonna do a video for that, and then I'm gonna do a video for Jessica Jones. I have a whole bunch of Jessica Jones footage. If you guys didn't know, Jessica Jones is dropping, every single episode is dropping on Friday, so be sure to book some time for a marathon. I'm gonna try to do at least like four or five videos for the episodes. I don't know if I'll be able to do a video for each episode, but just be sure to subscribe to get everything, and I'll be posting updates on Twitter and Facebook throughout the weekend. While you guys wait for everything to post, you can click here for all the other Star Wars trailers that I've been posting, and you can click here to catch up on Jessica Jones before tomorrow night. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody, let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.